Cubbies. We are so glad to have you here with us this week. We are glad you're here with us. And you know, Mrs. Jarvis, this is our last week of Cubbies. That is amazing. I can't believe we've spent all year at Cubbies and we've come down to this last night. I know the past few weeks, four or five weeks, we haven't been able to get together. And we sure do miss you Cubbies at home. We sure wish we could have spent the last several nights with you. We sure do, but we sure are proud of you for, look at all these verses on this table we'll go through pretty soon that you all yes. memorized this year. That's wonderful. It is. You've learned a lot of verses this year. Great and job. All your Bible stories that you know about Jesus. We're so thankful that you've come to Cubbies with us. We sure are. We sure are. Shall we get started with our Cubby song? All right. Cubby singing. I, I could hear them at home. Could you? Oh, I bet their moms and dads are really learning these songs because they're singing them. That's exactly right. They kind of think of those songs in their mind all day long, maybe. Yes, <laughs> it's fabulous. All right, Cubbies, let's go ahead and go over those verses that we were talking about earlier. We'll start with our mirror. Right. First of all, we have our, if you have a mirror out at home, go ahead and get that out. Do you remember what you're supposed to do when you see this mirror? You're supposed to remember that... Yeah. Jesus loves me. Or me. That's yeah. right. Jesus loves me. Very good. And then we have our baby doll. Right, our baby. And you might have a baby doll at home that you could hold and pretend is baby Jesus. You know what? Some of our cubbies have real little baby brothers and sisters at home too. So we had a lot of that happen in cubbies this year. So especially to you who have a little brother and sister, maybe mom or dad will let you hold them. And they'll be future cubbies, won't That's they? Right. That's right. God loved us and sent his son, sent his son, sent his son. God loved us and sent his son, 1 John 4, 10. Very nice, Cubbies. You're doing so well. Yeah. All right. What letter do we have tonight? Yep. You're so smart. That's right. Letter A. Letter A. Okay. Where is A? Where is A? Here it is. Here it is. Tell us what it stands for. Tell us what it stands for. A is for all. All have sinned. Okay. Next letter. Next letter. What is it? C. C. Good job. All right. Where is C? Where is C? Here it is. Here it is. Tell us what it stands for. Tell us what it stands for. C is for Christ. C is for Christ. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Mrs. Renner. Oh, it's that question again. What is a sin? Cubbies, do you remember what a sin is? Let's do it together. Ready? Sin is anything we think or say or do that displeases God. That's right. Yes. So, so maybe if I, I pull my brother's or sister's hair, that would be a sin. Right? Or if mommy says, hey, can you help me unload the dishwasher? And you decide to go to your room instead. That's a sin as well. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Or if mommy says, mommy baked cookies. Oh, goodness. And Ooh. it's before supper. And, and mommy cookies says, are so tempting. Especially the chocolate chip ones. They Those are. are the best. And you say, oh, I'm just going to take a little one after mommy said no. Mm. That's a sin. That is a sin. Yeah. So, so be careful with those sins. The Bible tells us all have sinned. Right. All right. We have some animals with us tonight. Oh, got a koala and a monkey. Okay. All right. So we're going to go through our verses here. All right. Genesis 1:1. In, In the, the beginning, beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And why do we hold animals? Because hmm, it reminds us that God created all the animals. Yes. Everything we see, He That's made. Right. And we know because He tells us that. Everything that he had made was very good. Oh, very nice. All right, let's see. Oh, 
And he tells us all of it in his word, the, the Bible. Bible. All right. Thy, Thy word is truth. So can we, does the Bible lie? Can God tell a lie? No, no. he can't. So every single word that's in the Bible is true. And so we can believe that because God inspired the Bible to be written. It's all true, all of it. None of it is a lie. Yes. Oh, there's our turkey. Mm -hmm. Our Thanksgiving turkey is yep. here. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Oh, here we go. I'll take the blanket, okay. I think, this yeah, week. Okay, I think that's good. So comforting. Have a <laughs> oh, bear did. and a blanket to sleep with at night. Oh, and this would make me sleep so well. Yep. For thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Very good. Oh, let's see if I can pick this guy up again with his wings and his halo. So if she's picking up our wings and our halo, what holiday does that remind us of? Oops. You're right. It's a long ways away, but it reminds us of Christmas when the angel came and told Mary that she would have a baby. Mm-hmm. For unto you is born this day a Savior. Very good, because Jesus was born in a manger long ago. Oh, and this is one. You guys like this one. It's one of our favorites. It is one of it? our favorites, absolutely. And in our verse, it calls it a bow, but it's really a rainbow. rainbow. That's right. Mm -hmm. I, do I do set, set my bow in, in the clouds. And that rainbow is a promise. Remember, we talked about that. It's a promise that God would never destroy the whole earth by a flood again at one time. Okay. Oh, and now our one about muscles mm -hmm. and power. So show us your muscles, okay, Cubby. Right oh, there they yep. are. Yep, good job. Great, great is our Lord, Lord and of great power. Good job. I saw you guys making the motions on that one. <laughs> Here we have this funny phone again. It is a funny phone. And you know what? Maybe we should tell Mrs. Edwards. Maybe she can get us a new phone next year. What do you think? <laughs> a new old phone. A new, a new old phone. Yep. Yes. There we go. And, and it reminds us to call. And we call for help. But we don't need to call on a phone to God no, for help. No. All we have to do is pray. And, and that's just talking to him. Right. It is. All we have to do is say, Lord, help me. And it can be just as easy as that. Mm-hmm. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Okay. Oh, here's our crown. I'll here's let you crown. put that on this okay. week. Here's our crown. Okay. For God is, is the, the king, king of all the earth. All right, Cubbies, what do we have here? I love the pink glitter. I do. And I know some of the Cubbies will love that pink glitter yes. also. Yes, they will. We love glittering Cubbies. We love glitter glue. Oh, yes, we love glitter blue. We do. The blue was really popular this year. It was. Yep. Love, love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. Okay. All right. Are you ever scared? Sometimes when, when it's storming and mm -hmm. the thunder and the lightning comes, I get a little nervous yeah. and scared. Cubbies, do you ever get scared when it's... Maybe we've had some nights here recently where it's been very, very windy and that wind just hits our windows at our house and kind of rattles everything. That can be scary. But God always takes care of us. In God, I have, I have put my trust. trust. I, I will, will not be afraid. afraid. He always takes care of us. He is always with us. All right. Oh, you better get your palm branches out, too. Remember yep. we made those a couple yep. weeks ago? Palm Sunday. Yep, we made those right before Palm Sunday. So go get your green palm branch. Yep. Praise, Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the name of the Lord. Very good. And after that, after Palm Sunday came Easter Sunday. Just a week later. Just a week later. That's mm -hmm. right. Yep, because Jesus died on the cross. That's right. He didn't stay dead, though, did he, Mrs. No, Rainer? because no. after three days. One, two, three days. What happened? He rose again from the grave. That's right. Oh, and it was empty. The tomb was empty because right. Jesus is alive. alive. Right, so that's what rose again or he's risen. It means he's alive again. And now he's living up in heaven. He, he rose, rose again, again the, the third day. day. Very good. Good job. Okay. So. Yep. All right.
right. Oh, here we go, our fish. That's right. Now, did any of you do your craft that had the fish in it? Maybe you used scrap paper, maybe you used um, markers, or crayons. markers or crayons, tissue paper. So if you made that craft, again, take a picture of that and post it on our Facebook page so we can see what you did. But this also reminds us of our verse. Yes. And Jesus, Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you fishers of men. And we talked about fishers of men is not going fishing with right. grandpa in the lake. That's exactly right. It's telling your friends, maybe it's telling your grandma and grandpa all about Jesus. That's being fishers of men. Telling other people about Jesus and sharing the good news that Jesus died on the cross for them. Yes, very good. Okay, and then we have, oh, this is the fun one. Oh, this is Here, the fun one. Here, you can use oh, yeah. that one this week. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. The fan. I'm going to squirt with the Woo! wind. And the wind that comes. Right. Yes. Wind and waves. Yes, because even the, the wind and the sea obey him. And they just calmed right down when That's he right. told them to. Oh, and, and then we have this our one. Our verse for tonight, our last Cubbies verse of the year. Is our lamb. Yep. Behold the, the Lamb, Lamb of God. God. Yes, and that's what that the Lamb of God is. Jesus. Jesus. Right. He's compared to, Jesus is compared to the Lamb, the perfect Lamb. Unblemished, perfect Lamb. No flaws at all. Yes. All right, so we're going to learn more about that during our story tonight. Yes, and so let's head over there. Oh, for songs first. But. Oh, I you forgot. Know we forgot. We forgot maybe one of the most important things for tonight. So many of you have had birthdays while we've been gone from Cubbies, and so many of you have birthdays coming up this summer. So we wanna celebrate you, okay? So, so let's go back to March. Right. So March stand birthdays. up if you had a March birthday. Okay. April. Good. April. Stand up if you have an April birthday. May. Stand up if you have a May birthday. We have a lot. We really have a lot that have those birthdays. And then June, July, and August, those summer months. So stand up if yep. you're June, July, or August. So stay standing up. I think maybe half of you are standing right now. Oh, that could be. easily half, yes. if not more. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, but sing with us, all right? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear cubbies. Happy birthday to you. Now, Mrs. Jarvis, we don't want them just to have one birthday. We want them to have two, two birthdays. birthdays. Right. But how can they have two birthdays? Well, they can have two birthdays when they ask Jesus Christ to be their Savior. That's how they get two birthdays. Yes. Happy birthday to you. Only one will not do. Take Christ as your Savior, and then you'll have two. And I hope they do. I do. And taking Christ as your Savior is telling Jesus, you know what? I know your Lord, and I know you died on the cross for my sins. And my sins, I know I do naughty things. I know maybe I have a thought that's not right, or I disobeyed my mommy or my daddy or my grandma or whoever is in charge of me. But it's those naughty things that I do. Lord, would you please forgive me for those things? I believe that you died on the cross and I want you to be my savior. That's what it means to take Jesus Christ as your savior. And it's just as simple as asking. Like we talked earlier, praying is just, just talking like to talking God. back and forth, just mm -hmm. like Mrs. Renner and I are talking. That's all you have to do to ask Jesus to be your savior. If you want more information about that, you can comment on our Facebook page, you can get in contact with Mrs. Edwards, or you can call the church here, and we would be happy to share more with you on that. Okay. We do have more now songs have to songs. sing. Yes. Mm -hmm. So let's move over here and we're going to sing a few more songs. All right. Our first song for tonight is the Wonder Song. Now, what in the world is on this page? I'll show you. Oh, the moon and the stars. The moon and the stars. And I believe last night it was pretty clear out. So if you went outside, you probably saw a lot of stars out We've there. We've had some beautiful night skies we have. you can really see. We have. Okay, let's sing. Oh, who can make the night time? I'm sure I can't, can you? Oh, who can make the night time? No one but God is true. All right. 
Oh, there's that heart, just that's like that in our beginning. Mm -hmm. Oh, who can make our hearts clean? I'm sure I can, can you? Oh, who can make our hearts clean? No one but God is true. And this is just like we talked about just a minute ago. That's asking Jesus to be your savior. You can ask him to forgive your sins and he will make your heart clean when you ask him to do that. All right. This oh, one, and there's Jesus, there's who Jesus. can, the only one who can make our hearts clean. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. Oh, who can give salvation? I'm sure I can. Can you? Oh, who can give salvation? No one but God is true. Very good singing. Uh, let's sing My God is So Big, So Strong and So Mighty, maybe my favorite song. So oh. stand up. You can't sing this one sitting down. Stand up with us, okay? Yep. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. The mountains are His, the rivers are His, the stars are His handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. Good job. Now, we said um, we were going to talk a little bit about lambs tonight. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to sing this song. And if you know it, you can sing it with us. Mrs. Renner doesn't know it, but we're going to sing this twice. Okay. We'll sing it first regular and then the second time in a round. Okay. Okay. We can do that. The Lord is my shepherd. I'll walk with him all way. He leads by still waters, I'll walk with him alway. Alway, alway, I'll walk with him alway. Alway, alway, I'll walk with him alway. Okay, we're gonna go round number two. Do you wanna start or do you wanna finish? I'll let you start and okay. then I'll finish. All right. The Lord is my shepherd, I'll walk with him alway. The he leads by still waters, waters, I'll walk with him alway. Alway, alway, I'll walk with him alway. Alway, alway, I'll walk with him alway. Alway, alway, I'll walk with him alway. Oh, that was a good one. One more song. This song is called Happiness is the Lord, and we can have true happiness when we accept Jesus as our Savior, and really that is the only way we can have true happiness. Yes. All right. Happiness is to know the Savior, living a life within his favor, having a change in my behavior. Happiness is the Lord. Happiness is a new creation, Jesus and me in close relation, having a part in his salvation. Happiness is the Lord. Real joy is mine, no matter if the teardrops start. I found the secret, it's Jesus in my heart. Happiness is to be forgiven, living a life that's worth the living, taking a trip that leads to heaven. Happiness is the Lord. Happiness is the Lord. Happiness is the Lord. Great job, Cubbies. You've done a good job singing tonight. I appreciate you singing some new songs with us. And that happiness is like you said, we find it when we ask Jesus to be our savior. That's right. And we have two birthdays instead of just one. That's right, Mrs. Mm -hmm. Renner. Yeah. Well, Cubbies, we have all sorts of things to show you tonight and to look at. You remember you're working on your verses in your book and I hope you're doing the activities that come with it and I hope you're doing those books. And if you finish all your verses, all those sections in your book, you can call one of us, you can call Mrs. Edwards, and you can say those verses. You finish all those verses in your book, and you get a special award. And this special award goes on your cubby's vest. And we will get those to you. Yep, if you do all your verses. 
And then you've got all this extra time at home with mommy and daddy and grandma and grandpa and aunts and uncles or whoever you're with. And you have these under the apple tree sections. Work on those under the apple tree. If you finish all those, let us know and you get a special cubby magnet. You can put it on your refrigerator or your file cabinet. It says, thanks for spending time under the apple tree with me. And that's from Cubby Bear. And you can put your picture right in there. So finish those apple tree sections, right? Give us a call, let us know how you're doing and where you're at. We'd love for you. You said all those verses with us. It's easy to say them here, isn't it? Well, Cubbies, we have a special, tonight is a special night where we're going to review, those back there, our Bible verses that we've been, our Bible stories that we've been doing the past couple weeks. And you know, we talked earlier, the Bible says, John 17, 17, thy word is true. Everything in this book, God wrote and it's true. So get your pretend Bible out, let's open it up and say our rhyme together. This, this is, is my Bible, Bible. its stories are true. It tells me about Jesus. It tells me what to do. All right, cubbies. So we have our verses that we've been working on from the Bible. And do you remember this story? We had this man right here. And his name was John the Baptist. And if you remember, he went around and he prepared the way of the Lord. He told people, Jesus is coming. Get ready. Jesus is coming. God's son. Well, and then he also was baptizing people in Jesus' name. And one day, Jesus came down to be baptized with John the Baptist. And when Jesus was baptized in the water, a dove came down from heaven, and God's voice boomed loud and said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. That was God's Son who came to earth. And this was the start of Jesus' ministry here on earth. And then we went to another story. And this story was about fish. And you remember we talked about fish earlier. And there were some men who had fished in their boat all night long. Can you imagine how tired you would be if you were up all night long fishing? Well, maybe you wouldn't be tired, but I would be tired fishing all night long. And these men were tired. But they met Jesus on the shore. And he, Jesus asked them to take him out of his boat a little bit. And Jesus preached to the people on the riverside from his boat. And then he said to the fishermen, hey, let's go back out and let's do some more fishing. And the fishermen didn't want to go out because they were so tired, but they obeyed Jesus. And they got out there in their boat and they caught so many fish. Their nets started to tear and they had to call their friends over to help them get those fish in the boat. And when they got up to shore, Jesus said, hey, I think instead of fishing for fish, you need to become fishers of men. Come with me, be my special helpers and let's go tell people about Jesus and how much I love them. And so they did. And then there was another story that we had that also happened on a boat. There's a lot of fishing and boat stories that took place in the Bible. And Jesus had been preaching all day long and they were tired. They were to go to the other side of the lake of the Sea of Galilee. And so they got in the boat and Jesus went to sleep. And while they were in the boat sleeping, a huge storm came up. And it was rocking the boat and the waves were going and oh, thunder and lightning crashing and flashing all around and the disciples, they were scared. They thought for sure they were gonna tip over in the water. But Jesus was still asleep. So they finally woke him up and said, Jesus, help us, we're going to die. And Jesus got up and he said, peace, be still. And even the winds and the seas obeyed him. The storm stopped and they were safe. And then we talked a little bit about Jerusalem and how Jesus rode his donkey into town and they waved their palm branches and they said, Hosanna, praise ye the Lord, praise ye the name of the Lord. And they were so excited to see him. And then later on that week, 
the people didn't like Jesus anymore and they were angry with him. And they put him on the cross to die. And Jesus died on that cross to pay the penalty for our sins. And they put him in a tomb. And after three days in that tomb, Jesus rose again. He didn't stay dead. He conquered death. And he's alive. Because Jesus is the Savior. He paid the penalty for our sins. And he conquered death so that we could be saved and go to heaven to be with Jesus someday when we die. And those are the stories that we've gone over about Jesus and how he loved us so much that he did all these wonderful things for us. The most wonderful being dying for our sins and rising again so that we could go to heaven to be with him someday. It's such a wonderful thing and such a blessing to us. For your craft this week, you get to remember those stories too. This paper will be on our Facebook page for you to, to match up and remember. So the dove goes with Jesus getting baptized. And you can look at the, oh, the waves rocking. That goes with Jesus calming the storm. So you'll get to fill this out, color it nice, fill it out. Take a picture of it and put it on the Facebook page so we can see it. We would love to see what you do. Now, Cubbies, you know that our friend Cubby Bear loves his snacks. And one of his favorite things are, well, you know he loves apples. But what else does Cubby like? You're right, he loves honey. So the snack for tonight is to have some honey graham crackers. So make sure you find some after we're done with our cubby story and you can have a snack just like cubby is. Speaking of cubby, I think we should go see what cubby is up to tonight. You ready to help me call him? Ready? One, two, three. Cubby! Are. Oh, there we are. Oh, good. There you are. Hi, everyone. I'm so excited to see all of you. Oh, Cubby, it's so good to see you back to your hopping and jumping self. Can you tell the boys and girls how you made it home safely last time? Because we heard last time that you and Timothy were stuck on a boat in Cubby Bear Creek. Oh, yes. Timothy and I were really scared in that boat. We did not know what to do then. We heard a bark from the shore. Arr, 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 arr. Katie Collie had found Timothy's cat. She let Timothy's dad know that we were, that we needed help, and he pulled our boat to shore. Wow, Katie, you're such a good dog for Cubby. And Timothy, you helped them out. Thank you for helping take care of them. Of course, it's my job. Next time, Cubby, I hope you two won't disobey and go down to the creek by yourselves. Oh, no, we won't. Timothy had to play in the house for a while because he disobeyed. So we've been reading a lot of books and playing lots of board games. Oh, but I sure do miss playing outside on the farm. Summer is almost here. Yes, summer is almost here. Cubby Bear likes to play outside with Timothy in, during the summer. Cubbies, what do you like to do during the summer? Oh, riding your bike is a good one. Oh, do you like to spend the night at Grandma's house? Running through the sprinkler, that's a lot of fun. Very good. Katie Collie, what do you like to do during the summer? When I'm not keeping Cubby and Timothy out of trouble, I like to learn new doggy tricks. Well, that's great, Katie. I wonder what Lovey Lamb is doing this summer. I'll go find her. Well, hi, lovey. What are you doing this summer? First, I get sheared. Sheared? What does that mean? Does it hurt? <laughs> oh, no, it doesn't hurt. Shearing is like getting a haircut. All my wool is shaved off. I feel nice and cool through summer. 
and when my wool, and then my wool will grow back by winter to keep me warm. I think we're all going to have a lot of fun this summer, but I'm feeling a little sad because, well, this is our last week of cubbies. What? Already? But we have so much fun together. I'm going to miss seeing all of you every week. We're going to miss you too, cubbies. Some of us will be back in a few months, but others of us will be heading on to Sparks this fall. But I'm sure they'll still come back and say hi. Oh, good. So this really isn't a goodbye. It's kind of a see you later. So, yes, yeah, see you later, cubbies. Here's a big bear hug just from me. Oh, can you give Cubby a hug too? Give him an air hug? Oh, very good, thank you. All right, let's say good night. Good night now, good night now, the clock says we're done. We'll see you all later. Goodbye, Cubbies. Goodbye.